And the capital city has so much to offer. You've probably tried the delicious restaurants or perhaps seen one of the award winning shows and taken advantage of some great shopping. But if you haven't seen the city by the water, you truly haven't seen Providence. When they built and designed this space, they made it round here like this for a very specific reason. They're paying homage here to the original Salt Cove, which was the centerpiece of downtown Providence. Founded in 1991, originally as a water taxi company. We are the Providence River Boat Company, and uh, we've been in business here on the Providence waterfront. Uh, this is our 33rd season on the river. During the middle of construction of the Riverwalk and the Providence River Park. Prior to 88, from here north, you could not see the water at street level. It was entirely covered over. Captain Tom McGinn and his wife, Kristen, running the boat tour since 2005. Very rarely do I take a group of locals out where they don't leave saying, you know, I thought I knew everything about Providence and I still learned something today. Uh, and that's a huge compliment for me. If I can bring locals who are into history and who understand the city, uh, if I can bring them a little bit of something that they didn't even know, uh, then that's a, that's a victory for me. I'm really happy about that. The 55 minute tour offering a wealth of knowledge about the capital city and a very different perspective. Four hours notice for a category three hurricane. That's 120 mile an hour winds at a minimum. The eye of that storm hits Sutherland Island directly. Cruising through the hurricane barrier itself, a highlight. We talk about the hurricane barrier. A lot of people don't have never been up close and personal with the hurricane barrier. They see it on the news when there's a hurricane coming or a flooding, uh, but they don't know how it works and who runs it and what it does and, and actually how big it really is. It's, you know, it's much bigger than the section of the river. It's like 3,000 feet long. And um, people are always interested in that, locals especially. They love, like, oh, I've always seen this from the highway or from the waterfront, but I've never actually gone through it. And that's, that's part of what we do as well. Also spotted, one of Rhode Island's endangered species sunning itself on some old docks. Those are diamondback terrapins. They're turtles that live in brackish water, so make sure you're fresh and salt. Although most people think summer for boat tours, the fall offers something special. We have um, a lot of a very popular tours coming up in October uh, that a lot of locals enjoy doing, which is the, uh, the tours we do in conjunction with the Providence Ghost Tour Company. They do walking ghost tours on the east side here behind me. And uh, for a number of years now, we've done tours on the river where they come with one of their guides on the boat at night, and we drive up and down the river and they tell you ghost stories about some of the buildings here in downtown Providence. And they're very popular, especially in October. The couple owns several companies in downtown Providence, including the Providence Providence Kayak Company and The Landing. A lot of locals might know it um, as the place where the Capriccio's is, the restaurant. They're in the, in the basement right below us and we're in the space with all those windows right above them. So we have uh, ice cream and uh, coffee drinks and um, some local uh, things for people to buy. Locals are tourists. We have t-shirts and uh, jewelry and other things from local artists. And um, it's really kind of taken off and become a place for people to come downtown. The view is spectacular. The Landing Inn Cafe and Boutique is where the boat tours run out of with the launch directly across the street. Tours will continue throughout the month of October. For The Roadshow, I'm Melissa Sardelli.